Hey guys, Hardy here from ecomhardy.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Google Ads shopping campaign for your e-commerce website. Basically, if you haven't set the conversion action yet, make sure you check out my previous video. The link is given in description below as well as you can find the card somewhere on the top there. Once you set the conversion actions on your Google Ads, simply go to campaigns if you're creating the ad for the first time and make sure your Google Merchant Center is connected to your Google Ads so you are getting all the products imported to your Google Ads. Simply click to create, create a new campaign, click to sales and add goal. So once you added the conversion action, your goal will show up here. So our main goal should be purchases, not anything else, right? So I select purchase. And then if you find any issues or warning here, make sure you check and fix the warning. Once you fix it, Simply continue. And here we're going to select the shopping campaign. So I select shopping. Performance max campaign is totally another topic and it requires long video. So I will create in the future. But this video is specially focusing on the shopping campaign. Once you select the shopping, you select your account. So I select my particular account here. And once the account is selected, make sure between these two, Google will always suggest performance max, but I will go with standard shopping campaign. If you are creating the campaign for the first time and you have no knowledge about Google ads. So shopping campaign is just the basic campaign where if someone search the product on Google, your product will show up on the Google as well as Google shopping and on the Google search network. So once you select the standard shopping campaign, simply continue. And I give a name to this particular campaign because because I'm starting for the first time, I want to focus on all products. So at least I start gathering the data. And once I have enough data, I can segregate the categories and start focusing the particular products in the particular campaigns. And for those particular products, if they are doing well, I create performance max campaign for them and focus on those particular products only. Once you give a name to your campaign, bidding strategy. So there are four options, target return of ad spend, maximize clicks or manual cost per click. In the beginning, maximize click is the better option because it sets the bid to help you get the most clicks within your budget. Manual CPC is like you have to select your own strategy and select your own maximum cost per click for ads. Target return of ad spend is like you set the target value. So if you want five times return, you select 500. If you spend $10, and if you want $100 worth of items should be sold from Google Ads, then I would write 1000 But in the beginning, I would suggest not to put anything. And I would rather go with maximize click. And then here you can set your maximum cost per click bid. But if you don't know what you're doing or if the products are new or if you don't know what kind of bid rate you want to set, then simply untick that tick box and leave it blank and let Google decide the bids. Leave it like that for at least 14 days. So Google will start gathering data and try to maximize the clicks by itself. And that way you still having good number of clicks to your products. I set my budget. So I want to set $10 at least. But in your case, if you want to start with low, you can always set $5. Do not go lower than $5. Otherwise, you may not find any kind of reason. Now, customer acquisition. Here, you can select the optimized campaign for acquiring new customer if you want to. But because you are doing for the first time, I would rather avoid this task. And in the future, once I have multiple campaigns running, I would select that particular campaign to acquire more customers. And I will bid only for new customers. Here, campaign priority. Because this is the first campaign, you do not have to worry about priority. But if you are having multiple similar campaigns, you have to decide and give the priority to Google Ads, which campaign is high priority and which campaign is low. In our case, because we are starting, so we just select low priority. Now, once I decided networks, I will always allow them. So my products reach would be exceeded to other networks and the customers, if they are using other networks, they still can check my ads there. Devices in the beginning, make sure you add all the eligible devices by default locations. In my case, it's Australia, but in your case could be different country. So what you have to do is you simply enter another location and you find your country like India or United States or Pakistan or whichever country you are from and focusing on. So if you are focusing the target audience India, then you select that. Make sure you select or expand this option as well. Location option. In my case, I need to focus on only Australia, not other countries. 
So now once I expand this location option here, I will find two different options. This option includes people or interest, people in regularly in or who's shown interest in your included location. I would not recommend that. I'll always recommend presence. So once you select that, you select your end date if you want to, but I will keep running as it is. And then I give a name to my ad group, all items, then create campaign. Now here you find all the products. If you want to expand these products or remove particular products, then what you can do is simply select here, add subdivision and select item ID. And if you want to remove any particular products, something like power bank, just imagine in my case. So if I want to remove these particular products, I select all, then continue edit and save. And these are all the power banks. Everything else is under the all products. So what I will do is I select all except this part and the power banks I selected, I just select edit and exclude. And that way I can exclude from my Google ads. Once I excluded, that means now it is only focusing the rest of the products and it won't spend any money on this product. So this is how you can create the Google ad shopping campaign for your e-commerce website. Hope this video has been helpful to you somehow. If you think so, thumbs up to this video. If you're here for the first time, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified future videos as soon as I upload new videos. Comment box below if you have any questions or suggestions. So until next time, see you, take care. Bye-bye.